In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to install and uninstall TeamViewer using the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. This script works great for new installs, upgrades to new versions, and uninstalling any existing or previous versions of TeamViewer. I encourage everyone to reference the TeamViewer Install and Uninstall PowerShell blog post for the most up-to-date step-by-step instructions and the links to all the necessary downloads, as the information may be updated from time to time. First, we will download the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. I've downloaded the zip file to the C Downloads directory. Next, we want to remove the zone identifier from the zip file. Open Windows PowerShell by right clicking on Windows PowerShell and selecting Run as Administrator. Enter the following command to remove the zone identifier. Now if we check the zip file properties, we can see that the unblock option has been removed. Next we want to extract the contents of the zip file. To do that, enter the following command. As you can see, we've extracted the contents of the zip file to C Downloads PADT. Next, we will enter the following commands to copy the App Deployment Toolkit and Files folders to a new location at C Downloads TeamViewer. Next, we'll want to open a browser to the TeamViewer download link. Copy the TeamViewer underscore setup.exe to the C Downloads TeamViewer files folder. Next, we'll want to copy the PowerShell script located on the blog post. Then we can open PowerShell ISE, which is the integrated scripting environment. Paste in the code. Then we can save the script to the C Downloads TeamViewer directory and name the file deploy-teamviewer.ps1. Click Save. OK, all the hard work is done, and now we can install or uninstall TeamViewer using one single PowerShell script. I wanted to take a few moments to explain a few details of the script for clarification. The pre-installation section will check for any existing versions of TeamViewer and uninstall them prior to installing the version you want to deploy. The installation section will silently install TeamViewer and then detect the operating system architecture before adding the appropriate registry keys to disable TeamViewer auto-update. Finally, the script will stop and restart the TeamViewer service. This is required to see the registry key changes reflected in the application settings. If you are using a software deployment tool such as Microsoft Endpoint Manager Configuration Manager, everything inside the C Downloads TeamViewer folder would be your source files for a package or application. We can delete all the other files in the downloads directory. In this first example, we will perform a silent install of TeamViewer using the PowerShell script. Open Windows PowerShell by right-clicking on Windows PowerShell and selecting Run as Administrator. Change the directory to the C Downloads TeamViewer folder. Enter the following command.
Logging functionality is built in automatically and we can monitor the progress of the install under C Windows Logs software. After a few moments, you should see the Team Viewer desktop shortcut up here. You will also find entries in the Start menu, the Installation directory, and Programs and Features in the Control Panel. If we open the application, we can see that Check for New Version is set to Never, and Install New Versions Automatically is set to No Automatic Updates. Now we can perform a silent uninstall simply by changing the deployment type parameter from install to uninstall. We can see that TeamViewer has been removed from programs and features in the control panel, and we can confirm that the uninstall was completed successfully in the log file. In this next example, we will use the interactive deploy mode that will show dialogues including progress and balloon tip notifications. It will also prompt the user to close TeamViewer if the application happens to be open. I went ahead and installed TeamViewer and opened the application to demonstrate the prompt the end user will see to close TeamViewer when the application is open. I also wanted to point out the settings for auto updates are currently enabled. After running the PowerShell script, the auto update settings will be changed to disabled. After a few moments, you will see the TeamViewer desktop shortcut reappear. You will also find entries in the Start menu, the Installation directory, and Programs and Features in the Control Panel. Now when we open the application, we can see that Check for New Version is set to Never, and Install New Versions Automatically is set to No Automatic Updates. Now we can perform an interactive uninstall simply by changing the deployment type parameter from install to uninstall. We can see that TeamViewer has been removed from Programs and Features in the Control Panel. And we can see in the log file that the uninstall completed successfully. As a friendly reminder, always make sure to test everything in a development environment prior to implementing anything into production. The information in this video is provided as is, without warranty of any kind. For more free PowerShell scripts, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.